Welcome to episode four, writing the song Rashi and act of God, have a nice day. I'm Lenny Solomon and this is The Lenny Solomon Show. Welcome to episode four. And first, a word from our sponsor. The Four Corners Project is a 501c3 not-for-profit organization whose mission is to reach out to the Jews scattered to the four corners of the world through music and media, the ultimate informal Jewish education. It's so important nowadays to have something that will defend against the secular agenda, that will say to you, I'm proud to be a Jew, I know what it means to be a Jew. Yes, the classroom is great, the family is great, but you need those other moments, those informal Jewish education moments. Check it out, www.fourcornersproject.org. Support the work of the Four Corners Project. And now on with the show. Writing the song Rashi. Rashi was a parody of the song Windy. Everyone knows it's windy. And what I did was, I went to the Encyclopedia Judaica and I got as much information that I could about Rashi. Who was he? Where did he live? When did he live? And then I proceeded to jigsaw puzzle it into the song because you see, that's what writing a parody is. It's a craft. It's not just rhyming Torah with Hora with Mora with Masora. You have to have information. You want to get information across, and you must get it across in the meter and rhythm of the original song. So, who was born in France and sent to Yeshiva, studied in Worms, and on his right, on his return, founded a school and wrote commentaries. Everyone knows it's Rashi. Now, the thing about it was, according to the Encyclopedia Judaica, he had three daughters. But according to Rabbi Beryl Wine, he could only ascertain that there were two daughters. So I don't know, but I went with Encyclopedia Judaica because at the time, I didn't speak to Rabbi Wine. Rabbi Wine then did an um, animated movie about it. Anyway, let's do Rashi for you. Everyone knows it's Rashi. Unlike a Barbanel, where I didn't really say anything about who the Abarbanel was in the first song, first album. For Rashi, I did a lot of research, and I came up with this. Who was born in France and sent to Yeshiva, studied in Worms, and on his return, he founded a school and wrote commentaries Everyone knows it's Rashi Whose words are written under the Chumash The inside of every page of Talmud Whose three daughters married great scholars Everyone knows it's Rashi And Rashi was so concise And in his own script did write And if you want to know why just look inside just look inside everyone knows it's Rashi and now stories from the road you know I always say that God only delays you when you can afford to be delayed and thank God throughout my entire career I haven't really missed a show I haven't missed a show because of getting delayed. But I'll tell you this funny story on the way to Anchorage, Alaska in March 1990. We're flying to Alaska and all of a sudden there's this announcement over the loudspeaker. We are being detoured to Los Angeles because of the eruption of Mount St. Helens volcano, 37,000 feet high. So all of a sudden we get detoured to LA. Now I'm waiting in the LA airport and I'm figuring out what to do. And basically they would say, act of God, have a nice day. So you just have to wait until you get put on a plane to Alaska. But while we're waiting to meet, to speak to the, somebody at the counter, the ground starts moving between my feet. Yes, an earthquake. So we had a volcano eruption, an earthquake in LA, and when we finally got to Al Alaska, the road was closed because of avalanche. Three natural disasters in a two-day period. What do you think God was telling me? Act of God, have a nice day. Hope you enjoyed the podcast. See you next time. I'm Israel Chai.